Hi there, I'm Adam's assistant. I can help you schedule an appointment with him. When would you like to book a time with Adam? I'd like to schedule a meeting with Adam on 14th of July between 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Great. I can help you schedule that meeting with Adam on July 14th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. To get started, could you please tell me your name? My name is Abhay. Nice to meet you, Abhay. What's your email address so I can send you the appointment confirmation? My email address is hello at autokit.com. Perfect. Now, could you tell me what the purpose or context of this meeting with Adam will be? This helps us prepare for your appointment. I want to discuss AI and automations with Adam. Excellent. Let me check Adam's availability for July 14th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. I am checking availability. Great news. Adam is available during that time slot. Does everything look correct? If so, I'll go ahead and book this appointment for you. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Your appointment has been successfully booked. Check your email for the confirmation details. That's great. Can you please help me rescheduling this appointment? Of course. I can help you reschedule the appointment we just booked. What new date and time would you prefer for your meeting with Adam? I want to reschedule this appointment on the same time on 16th of July. Let me check Adam's availability for July 16th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Great! Adam is available on July 16th at the same time. Let me reschedule your appointment from July 14th to July 16th, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Perfect! Your appointment has been successfully rescheduled to July 16th from 5 p.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. You'll receive an updated calendar invitation at your email address. Can you please help me canceling this appointment? Of course. I can help you cancel the appointment we just rescheduled for July 16th. Your appointment has been successfully canceled. You'll receive a cancellation notification at your email address confirming that the July 16th meeting has been removed from the calendar. What you just saw is a voice AI agent built with AutoCAD MCP and 11 Labs. Let's see quickly how to build this with AutoCAD and 11 Labs. To set up AutoCAD MCP, you have to log into AutoCAD dashboard. If you don't have an AutoCAD account, you can sign up for a free account using the link in the description. Once signed up, you will be logged into your account. And a good news for you, MCP servers are available entirely free on any plan and it does not have any task limit attached to it. So during the launch offer, you can use MCP unlimited as you want as per your preference. For this, you will have to create a MCP server. Once logged into the dashboard, you have to click on the MCP icon here. Once clicked, click on the Create MCP Server button. Here you will be prompted to enter the MCP Server name. Once the MCP Server is created, you will be taken to this dashboard. Now, we are creating a voice AI agent with 11 labs that can help with booking an appointment, rescheduling it, deleting it, or finding an availability for a particular time. For which, you will have to connect Google Calendar integration with your MCP. And once you connect the Google Calendar integration, it is called as tool. You have to click on this button, add MCP tool. Search for here for Google Calendar. Once Google Calendar is selected, you have to select the connection. I have selected the connection with my Google account. Now it's time to select the events for which we need four events. And those four events are first is create detail event. Second is update event. Third is delete event. And fourth is find availability. Once selected, click on add tool button. And that's it. You have created your first MCP server in AutoCAD for completely free. Once the server is created, you can come back to the MCP page and all the MCP servers created in your AutoCAD account will be listed here. Note, you can create multiple MCP servers for your multiple use cases. You are not limited by the number of tools that can be connected in MCP server or number of MCP servers that can be created inside your account. And you don't have to create a workflows to add tools in your MCP. So you have a dedicated tab in AutoKit for creating MCP servers from which you can create those, unlike others. Now the last setup in the AutoKit dashboard is just copying this MCP server URL. Please make sure this is the unique URL to connect to your MCP server. It should be kept secure and not to be shared publicly. Consider it as a password to your MCP server. Once MCP server is created, you have to log into your 11 Labs account. If you don't have an account, you can visit 11labs.io or use the link in the description to sign up for 11 Labs. Once 11 Labs account is created, you have to click on Conversational AI on the left hand side. Once this is created, you have to click on Integrations and click on New Integration. Here you will have to name your integrations. I have named it as Google Cal. Then come to the next step that is Server Configuration. Type on Streamable HTTP. Here it is Value and paste the URL you have copied from AutoCAD dashboard. Scroll below and click on no approval button. And at last, click on I trust this server. 
and click on add server button. Once the MCP server is added in 11 labs, you have to make sure there is a green dot to the MCP server. You can click here and you can see all of the connected Google Calendar tools are available here. Those are create detail event, update event, delete event and find availability. Now it's time to set up your voice AI agent. Click on agents and then click on new agent. You can select as blank agent here. I'll give a simple name to this AI agent. And your agent is created. Now it's time to select the first message that what your agent should greet you once you first connect with your agent. I've added this first message. You can type any first message you want. Then it's time to add the system prompt here. You can consider this system prompt as brain of your AI agent. We have created the system prompt. You can find the link of this system prompt in the description. And with the one click, you can set up the appointment booking voice agent as shown in the demo. The next step here is to choose an LLM. We recommend to use either CloudSonnet 3.7 or CloudSonnet 4. So these are recommendations, but you can try and mix and match combinations with any LLM you want. You can skip all other settings. Then at the bottom, you have to select the MCP server that we have just added. Click on the add server button. And here you'll have to select the MCP server that you have just added. One last setting that is you have to go to security and just click on enable authentication. Once this is done, click on the save button and that's it. You have created your first voice AI agent with AutoKit MCP and 11 labs. You can click on the test AI agent at the top right corner. Once the voice AI agent is tested, you can embed it on your website like this. You have an option to embed this as a widget on your website, or you have an option to connect with a mobile phone number. If you want a detailed guide on how you can install this voice AI agent on your website, or connect it with a phone number, please make sure you comment it. We'll be happy to make a video around it. Thank you.